Hi, I'm Lucy Coleman. And in this opportunity, I would like to talk to you about healing and more specifically, self-healing. Is self-healing possible? Well, we will see that in the next few weeks. Um, in the past weeks, I went through intense situations which involved lots of stress, anxiety, uh, bringing my compulsive behavior to the surface because I'm usually a person that likes to control the situations and, and not actually understand the human behavior, which in most cases is very difficult. <laughs> um, what happened to me is that I got ill after four weeks of going through lots of stress and situations that were out of my control. I lost the, the power to, to feel better myself and to control my thoughts in a way that they wouldn't hurt me or cause me a self-destructive situation which happened at the end. After all those weeks of going through lots of problems I went to see the doctors because I, I developed these intense migraines. I had a cold that wasn't resolving and then decided to go and see the doctor because the migraines were very, very strong. Well, I, was, I went through lots of testings and I was diagnosed with lots of things which were you know, acute things that were, could easily correct with, with just lifestyle change which I'm doing, and also diagnosed with a, a brain malformation uh, with something called cavernoma that is located on the frontal side of my head and the right side, and it consists of uh, many arteries being together in a knot. So what I thought was, okay, um, can, can this be harmful for me? Is this dangerous? So they say, well, it depends on you and your lifestyle and, and how you decide to live your life from now on. At the beginning, they said I couldn't do any exercise and go through any stress situations, which, you know, it was almost impossible. I am not the person that likes to live in isolation. What did I do? Well, I went through the rest of tests. And one day I just made a determination that if I work in this field of hypnosis and I can do self-hypnosis and I have seen so many patients healing miraculously with my techniques, why I, could, I couldn't be one of those patients. So I developed a, a system of self-hypnosis for myself and I started doing that. Uh, that was about two weeks ago. I got a lot better. I went through another MRI, which signed, uh, it shows to be really good now. The results are getting better. And the doctors were very pleased with my improvements. So I went to see the neurologist yesterday and he asked me, um, I can see you doing really well with your medications. Um, let me first show you the medications. This is this beautiful bag filled with tablets. You can see here all these tablets. He said, how are you doing with the medications? And I was like, um, what medications? You know, the medications we gave you. I said, well, I haven't taken any. Any. Any of them. He asked me why. Well, because have you seen the list of side effects of those things you gave me? I would be a zombie by now if I've been taking all those medications together. There are so many side effects that I can't even name them. So this is completely insane. How can I get better taking something that is gonna actually hide the root of the problem? So he went like, okay, and what do you do 
for life, you know, for your living. I say, well, I'm a medical doctor, a specialist in reproductive medicine, but I don't believe in so many medications unless they are really necessary. And I'm not gonna go through that. And he asked me, what have you been doing to improve so much? I said, well, yoga, meditation, and hypnosis. Amazing. He couldn't believe it. He was like, what? Just that? I said, yeah, that's what I've been doing. And I'm going to get better. Because he wants to see me every three months. And I said, okay, fine. In six months' time, maybe not in three months' time, but in six months' time, I'm going to get better. That's going to disappear. It won't be there anymore. And it's something that is supposed to be chronic, and apparently it doesn't go away, ever. But in my case, it will go away. Because I've been through the same before. I've been through the same. What was the problem? Lack of sleep, bad nutrition, and lots of stress all combined together. That was the problem. So in the next weeks, I would like to take you with me in this journey. We're going to go together through this journey of healing, self-healing that I'm going to take. And if I can do it, you will do it too. Because self-healing is possible. Because everything is achieved with your thoughts, with your mind. Whatever your mind says, your body will respond. Because if we believe we are ill, if we believe we are sick, we are sick. But if we believe we are healed, completely healed, if we do meditations with visualizations and think and believe that everything is possible, everything will be possible. So follow me because honestly, I'm going to show you how I'm going to heal again. See you in the next one.